Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joshua Casper here for Audio Thing, and I'd like to introduce you to the newest plugin in their line of incredible plugs. This one's called Reels, and it's a tape emulation plugin with a built in echo section and tape stop effect. So, in this video, I'm going to walk you through what it has to offer, as well as demonstrating it on a couple of different instruments. The plugin is modeled after an old Japanese portable tape recorder with a very distinct lo fi sound, so that's what you can expect from Reels. This is the plugin right here, very sleek looking, very straightforward and easy to use. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put it on the drums for a second, just so we can get started. Here we go, solo those drums. And right off the bat, you'll hear some noise. And the noise is very typical of old school tape machines. And that's why it's been emulated here. But if you wanna bypass it, you can just turn these uh, two controls down and boom, nice clean sound. But it's a very pleasant hiss. And you even have the sound of the tape motor. Which of course, you know, you can also bypass by just turning it all the way down to 0%. If you want to keep that but not have it on when there isn't any music happening, you just turn on the envelope real quick. You see that it's gone away. And now it's only going to happen when audio is being processed through the plugin. So you see how it slowly tapers off there? That just has to do with that envelope. So let's talk about the tape section because this is the heart of reels. There are three different tape emulations inside of here, JP, IT, and FR. Those are for the countries of origin from where the tape came from. There are two different tape speeds, and each one of these is going to process and affect the audio in different ways. So what I want to do is just go ahead, turn it on JP, turn the tape speed up, and I'm just going to go ahead and run through each one of these three on both tape speeds so you can hear the differences in tone with kind of the standard parameter settings here. So I, I just double click to bring the wow flutter back to its starting point. The echo is being bypassed right now, so we're really only going to be focusing on the actual tape emulation itself. So let's go ahead and do that, and you're going to notice some very distinct differences between the different models and the different tape speeds. So let's go ahead and check it out. So hopefully you notice there that as we go from left to right, the quote unquote quality of the tape is less and less. So over here at France, FR, and on a slower tape speed, we're gonna get the most lo-fi sound. So if that's what you're looking for specifically, that's where you wanna jump to. And then that's anywhere between there and the Japan version at 3.75 tape speed. Again, this is still a very lo-fi unit, but it just gets progressively better as you go over. Just something to keep in mind while you're using reels. So the next thing, we've got four main parameters for the tape emulation. We've got harshness, wow flutter, ducking, and crosstalk. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each one of these and then demo it for you. The harshness controls the amount of distortion or the loss of clarity of the tape effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these other ones down so we can just focus on this. Pay attention to my mix knobs at 100%. Everything else is the same. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the noise off just so we can really hear the harshness. So you can hear the distortion there. You can hear the rumbly tones on the lower end. And if we jump over to France, slow the tape speed down, let's see what happens. So there's a lot of degradation there, but if we go ahead and mix that signal with the dry signal, you will notice a bunch of characteristics being added that sound really great. So 
So it's just dirtying up those higher frequencies, and it sounds a lot better. It sounds like it has more character to it. It sounds like it was actually recorded on a tape machine, right? Which is exactly what we're going for. Next up, we got Wow and Flutter, and this changes the pitch or adds pitch imperfections to the signal. So what I want to do is take reels and drop it on something that actually has melodic content. Uh, for example, this vocal here, come over. And let's go ahead and add the wow flutter effect to it again at 100% so we can really understand what's happening. So you can really hear the pitch is just getting kind of crazy there at the 100% here on, you know, even the Japan version and the tape speed at 3.75. If we go to France and at the lower tape speed, So you can hear the differences there. And what that is, is an emulation of the tape speed over the playhead here, just be fluctuating. So it's gonna change. If you think the tape head's going faster than slower, it's gonna pitch it up and pitch it down. Let's drag this on some of these plucks here and just see what it sounds like while we're checking out ducking. So ducking controls the amount of volume loss of the tape emulation. I'm gonna turn this off. So you can see here on the France version, we're getting a lot of ducking happening while the sound's being affected. This brings me to the pre-emphasis down here. This is a great way to boost the higher frequencies. Because of the nature of old school tape machines, the higher frequencies are kind of what's affected first. So that's why we have a pre-emphasis control here where we can actually boost those before they go into the tape emulation um, so we can get a better, higher quality sound in the higher frequencies if we want. If we don't want that, we can also pull back on it. So that's a very important parameter down there, that pre-emphasis, especially when we're talking about the ducking control over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that back down and let's talk about crosstalk. This controls the amount of leakage between the left and the right channel. Again, something very typical in old school tape machines and I'm excited to have it here inside of Reels. So all of these controls combined and mixed to different levels is going to give you a very character-driven experience. So it sounds really, really great, right? So let's talk about the echo. The echo is a pretty straightforward echo or delay sound. Turn it on. So the wet only when activated, is going to completely remove the dry signal from the delay. So that's gonna be those first kind of louder ones. And then we got our kind of standard controls over here. We can sync it to the host BPM. You'll see that the time there kind of jumped a little bit. Turn it off. You could definitely get some crazy results if you want to automate the time inside of your DAW. Feedback is how long the delays happen for. Low pass and level, pretty straightforward there. We got our input and output master, again, pretty straightforward. We do have a built-in limiter just in case things go crazy once you start adding, you know, pre-emphasis with a bunch of echo delay there that just kind of goes on and on and on. You might want to have the limiter on there just so you don't do any clipping. We do have a way to sum to mono if you want to hear what's going on or if we just want to keep the signal mono itself. And then we have the tape to stop effect. So let's go ahead and check this out. What we want to do is just hit stop and the stop time is adjustable. And we can see right here on the speed knob. Let's go ahead and check it out.
So very helpful, very cool to have it inside of there as like an extra on top of the really great emulations that we already have at our disposal, being able to have that, you know, tape stop effect, which is very common in hip hop. It's very common in EDM. It's available right there in Reels. It's a great addition to the plugin itself. And then, of course, I've already touched on this. This is the mix knob over here. Very, very straightforward. We can see a peak signal. If we're going to get any peaking or any clipping, this is going to light up red and let us know about it. Again, I've got the limiter on, so I don't need to worry about it, but it, it's good to have that there for reference when needed. Speaking of presets, if we jump in here, we've got a number of echo presets and a number of tape presets. These are really good starting points for anyone looking to get started quickly, and they all sound phenomenal, and they all get the job done, and they all do exactly what we want from Reels. So there's a link in the video description to go ahead and check it out at audiothing.net, and I highly suggest you do so if you're looking for that lo-fi style. Reels is definitely the plugin for you. I'm Joshua Casper here for Audio Thing, and I'll see you in the next video.